what is going on warriors of tamaris i am back again with another video in today's episode we're gonna check out the brand new update that is just right around the corner the game developers are gonna be adding a bunch of new stuff in call of dragons and everybody is gonna be excited make sure you subscribe to the channel for more content turn on the bell notification and never miss out like the video share it with your friends leave some comments down below let's get into it all right ladies and gentlemen the brand new update is gonna be so exciting so many new features will be added in the game the new update is gonna be called the roots of war this update is going to bring new game modes in the game of call of dragons we're gonna begin the video by talking about the most exciting thing about the new update like this one says sneak peek i am not sure if this is gonna be in this update or the next update War pets are gonna be coming to Call of Dragons. War pets are awesome. Those of you who have played Clash of Clans, I think you know what a war pet is. If you haven't played Clash of Clans or you don't know anything about war pet, allow me to demonstrate. I don't know if, it, if it's gonna be the same as Clash of Clans, but a war pet is basically a creature that you bring with you to the open field. This war pet could be flying up in the sky or it could be walking right beside your heroes. Now the war pets are going to be giving you different buffs in the open field. Enemies should be able to target your war pet and kill it, so you'll have to protect it. I don't know if that's going to be the case with Call of Dragons. This is going to be very exciting. We could get a war pet that could give you some HP throughout the match. You could get a war pet that could give you more damage. You could give a, you could get a war pet that could make you immune to so many different debuffs let's just wait and see what the game developers are gonna be doing with this war pet it's gonna be very exciting right now we're just gonna go over the new update and see what the game developers are gonna be adding in the game so the first thing we're gonna check out is going to be the new campaign so the new campaign is gonna be a new game mode in call of dragons it's gonna be called the Ark of Osiris for Call of Dragons. This is something that is available in Rise of Kingdoms. So here is what the new campaign says. Your alliance will be matched against an alliance of similar power. Excellent. Capture buildings, deliver livestone, gather resources and defeat opponents to score points for yourself and your alliance. The alliance with the most points wins. After the battle ends, your wounded legions are fully healed and you will receive rewards based on your personal point score. In Rise of Kingdoms, this event is called Ark of Osiris. And usually all those who play, they get between 5 and 10 universal hero tokens, which is going to be awesome. If you win, you get more. This event is going to be composed of 30 players. I think most alliances are going to be using their whale players mostly. I don't know how the F2P are going to fit in, but let's wait and see. Everything about this event just looks great. The terrain looks awesome. I personally feel like the Spring Warden is going to dominate this event because you have the Forest Eagles that can fly and they are very strong. I don't see any other troop type competing with the forest eagles in this event i see so many choke points here which should be great i think the game developers are gonna have to limit the performance of the flying troops in the game maybe put some cloud in the sky that will like make you lose 50 percent of your hp for flying units otherwise this game is gonna be dominated by elk riders and the flying eagles the map just looks great with a lot of awesome features. I cannot wait to try this new event. Now, let us see what the update is also going to bring. We have a new event also known as Celestial Battlegrounds. Now, the objective says defeat 10 rounds of incoming enemies. Enemies gain buffs at the start of each round. Gain extra points for clearing the stage within the time limit. Reach point tiers to unlock rewards. You'll also gain rewards for placing highly in the rankings. I hope they put some gold heads for the ranking reward so that people fight for the event. Otherwise, nobody is going to care. 
what else do we have in this new update finally they are bringing the event calendar you can now see what's gonna happen in the next few days here is a quick glimpse of what it looks like this is already something that is available in rise of kingdoms moving on to the next new addition in this game we're getting a brand new artifact known as the gold crest now this artifact is going to be dedicated to Fregar in call of dragons Fregar is an excellent archer hero who can do a lot of normal attack damage and this artifact is designed specifically for her let's do a quick overview and see what the artifact is capable of deals damage to a selected legion damage type artifact skill damage physical damage factor 2800 grants your legion haste march speed of plus 15 percent duration 10 seconds now you cannot get away from fregar combine this with the falconer charge you have 45 percent march speed no enemy is gonna run away from you this artifact also has a passive skill now scales deals additional damage when Fregar is in your legion damage type artifact skill damage damage factor 900 so you're gonna get 2800 for the artifact and then if you use Fregar, you get another 900 that's gonna be 3700 damage factor which is awesome the passive feature also immobilizes the target the legion cannot move for three seconds now you cannot run away from those crazy normal attacks when you pair up frega with Sindrion, you're gonna destroy everything in your path the game developers are gonna have to make things a little bit clear it says here scales deals additional damage when frega is in your legion now is this the hero skill damage or just the artifact skill damage this is something we're gonna find out when the update comes out i personally i'm gonna do whatever it takes to get this artifact Sindrion and frega is my favorite archer march in the game and this artifact is gonna take them to the next level i skipped out on the rattle spear but this one i'm gonna get it for sure what other new features do we have in this update let's see just scrolling through i think i have covered pretty much everything that they have on the images now we're gonna go check out the in-game and see some other new stuff that the game developers are gonna be bringing in the game all right warriors of tamaris we're in the game right now and this is the update for the roots of war pretty much everything the game developers are gonna bring in the game now we're getting the new legendary artifact the gold crest improved battle display now the game is going to show the critical damage that you get when you fight your enemies this is gonna be great we're gonna see all the damage that you can deal another thing that's gonna be incoming is the spring blade and the infernal flame when you go to your artifact section you will see the amount of damage that they did to the enemy we also have improved hero promotion now you can have like different types of stars to use for your heroes you can find a formula that's gonna work well for you we're just gonna go over the relevant stuff from here now it says fix error in the description for staff of the prophet and heart of the kamasi so let's go to the staff of the prophet and i showed you and i show you what they're trying to fix this right here is the staff of the prophet we click on details we go to the skills Selects a friendly legion within the current region and within alliance territory. After 15 seconds charge up, teleports your legion and three nearby friendly legions to the target location. Now, this game developer, sometimes they don't describe things properly. So this one says teleports your legion and three nearby friendly legions. If you do the math, it's going to be like four legion. I tried this out and every time I teleport my heroes, only three heroes are teleported including the person that has the staff of the prophet like here it says teleport your legion for having the staff of the prophet and then three nearby friendly legions as well so when you combine them together that's like four legion but in reality it's only taking three legions so this is something you have to look out for now the maximum target says six legions 
So this is going to include the legion that has the staff of the prophet as well. You just gotta keep that in mind. Let us continue with the update and see some more information that we can get from here. I'm not gonna go through everything. I'll just pick the most important one. The things that people really wanna see. Added a reset feature for policies. This is a big one. If you mess up with your policy, you can change it. Once you change it, you'll have to wait for 30 days before you can change again. This is great. Another awesome change is gonna be seasonal custom tokens. Now your season 1 hero will be able to use a season 2 custom token. Let's say you wanna upgrade Madeline. You can use season 2 custom token to upgrade your Madeline. That's how it's gonna be that's how it's gonna work. What other important information do we have from here? Oh, and here in a new season for the first 2 days no one can attack your city or your heroes. You can pretty much do whatever the heck you want. This is going to be awesome in helping different alliances grow and build territory, which is great. Yeah, we have the calendar, which we talked about. We have the celestial battleground, which we talked about. Let's see some more information here going after relevant stuff. What is eye catching from here? Yep, that's pretty much it. If you want to see more information about the update, you can open the game and just read through and find out what you want to know. And that's it for the new update, guys. So many new awesome features will be added in the game. I personally am very excited about this new pet system. I don't know when they're going to introduce it, but this is going to be awesome. You could have another pet flying up in the sky to give you some buffs. You can have some pets walking on the ground helping you out. I do believe your pets will be targeted in the open field. Therefore, you gotta watch out. And that's it for the video guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new, make sure you subscribe for more content. Turn on the bell notification and never miss out. Until then, talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.